Okay, so um, I've started the record recording for the section. So feel free to ask questions and you know drag me back because uh, as it is, it looks like uh, we might not be able to have Kelvin to do this. All right. So let me see where we are starting from. The conversation I had with Kelvin was okay, five twenty-seven. So we are going to be starting from five twenty-seven this this evening. Okay, just give me some minute. All right, five twenty-seven. So guys, um, let's do a review of the model interface. Let's do a review of the model interface. So today we are going to we are going to we are going to be doing some report views and review the model interface. So how do we review the model interface? So let's go to our report views and review the model interface. So now, are we in our report view? For those of us who, who is following, so um, so from Kelvin's machine, we are already at the report interface. Okay, so here we are already at the report interface. We are already at the report interface. Okay. I don't see your screen. No. I don't know about others. What do you say? I said I cannot see your screen. I don't know about other persons. I'm sharing my screen. Just seeing the normal teams. Check. Deborah, check if you can see my screen. You can't see. Hi, Mr. Shegun. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Because, Mr. Shegun, right, can you see my screen? See. Yes, I can Mr. Mr. Sheku can see my screen. Um, Deborah, are you able to see my screen? Okay, I'm having some little issue with network. You might just have to, Mr. Kelvin, can you just sign okay. out and sign it back? Okay. I can see it. Okay, so Deborah can see my screen. Mr. Sheku can see my screen. Okay. All right, since you can see my screen, like I said, we will be back to the report page. So this is our report page, as you can see. So then this is our data page. So if I click it, it will give you the data. This is our model page pane. Of course, this was the model we created yesterday from the one we did with Mr. Kelvin. So we created a, a whole lot of models. You know, so for those of us that have missed the class, you will have to go back to the YouTube link sent to the platform and then spend the next two and a half hours to check what is what is in that place. Then I will name it in such a way that it will be easier for you to follow. I will put today's date on it, yesterday's date, which is 9th of July, then today's date, which is 10th of July. So it will be easier. So when you are looking at the videos, you can, you can. Okay, so let me even go to the, let me go there so that I can show you how I can show you how the YouTube links look like. Let me just show you so that you know what to look for. Okay. 
Okay, so by now you should be able to see a YouTube link. So uh, just look for hashtag learn with Adi. You we'll surely see it. Of course, my picture is there. So you see a whole lot of my right stuff. Once you just use, so we are back online, as you can see, we are back online. So go to, go to the YouTube page. You will see it there. So from the home, so from the home, you click videos. So it will bring all the videos. So if you notice, most of the videos there now are married. Okay. So what you now look out for, uh, just what you look out for. Uh, just look for look for so when you put uh when you put an arrow on the name it will bring it out let with add it on slash mara training slash mid to october stream then you see the date there 19th of june 2022 so we're always putting dates there so now there's a particular one the one for yesterday let me let me do it in such a way that the one for yesterday so the one for yesterday is yet to be uploaded, but I will upload it. I'll put yesterday's on there. I'll put today's on there so that once you just look at it, you can see the dates. This is 19th of June. This is 18th of June. This one is okay. There are no dates, you know. Uh, maybe day one, day three, you know, just the way we've we've named them. Okay, but I'm now being intentional about it by making sure that I put a date there. So it's easier for you to follow and say, okay, this date and this date. Okay, so that's that's by the way. So let me now go back to let me go back to today's training. So let me go back to today. Okay, so this was the models we created yesterday. Okay. What's going on? Hello. So I tried to zoom it. So you can see the relationship where we talk about one to many relationships. Now, Look at these sales. These sales has so many relationships. He has a relationship. He's doing multiple dating. He's not dating only one person. He's dating salesperson. He's dating reseller. So he has one to many relationships. So this star is saying many. Why this one is saying one? So this relationship is saying one to many. Of course, when you look at sales, sales has many entry points. If you look at salesperson, this person has one. This person has one. So you can see one to one to many relationship. One to many relationship. You know, you can you can see this one also have many relationship. Why? Because it's product. Yes. That product too has some relationship with them, um, sales, products, and all of that. So this is one of the things that we did yesterday. And um, so now we are we we'll switch back to the report view. So let's switch back to the re report view. This is our report view. Like I said, this is our report view. This is our data view, and this is our model. So we are in model. So we we'll go back to report. So from our reports, we've already start, we've started to do our data analytics now. So we are now creating dashboard. OK, so in creating dashboard now, so in the field pane, notice the following. We have columns, we have hierarchies, and their levels are field, and their levels are field, which can be used to configure report visuals. OK, then also only field relevance to reports 
utterings are visible. Now, the salesperson region table is not visible because all of its fields are hidden. Yes, we did that yesterday. So look at the fields. So here, yeah, I can I can hide the filter. Then look at field. This is the field that we are talking about. I have products visible, region, reseller, sales, sales targets, and targets. So salesperson region table. So you can notice that there's no salesperson region here. Only salesperson, but there's no salesperson region, so it's not visible because we have eaten all the columns that was there yesterday. Okay. Then also special field in the region and reseller table are, are done with special icons. Field are done with sigma we summarized by default teams and all of that. So okay. So now the idea is that when you when you open your product. Actor. Yesterday, what this stand for means hierarchy because we're creating hierarchy yesterday for different products. Now, when you see when you see uh, a sigma sign, for example, when you come to your sales, remember your sales deals with figures. So when you see a sigma signs, the sigma is talking about summarization. When you are summarizing all your data, that has the ability to summarize. So, for example, maybe let's say the amount, sales price, or sales for a particular region. So it can also be summarized for ex like 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 it is shown in this table, this particular table where you have total eighty thousand. So look at category, look at sales. So it, this is the summary that has been summarized. Then another thing we also need to look at. So said there's the two teams that appear while offering the cost of our sales costs. Okay, so when we look at our sales cost, this is sales, this is cost. Okay, so for example, it says sales cost description. This is says, the decision says it is based on standard cost. So which means that when you are running a particular data, when you are trying to configure your data and trying to like, you know, clean your data and then prepare your data, you can describe your data. Okay, so you name this data to be cost. Cost for what? You understand? You can give it a little description, you know, undergo. So which means that when you over your this information on it, it just gives you that other information. Let's say there is other information that anybody that will use the data will also need, you know, that will help them to understand more about the data. So for example, if I say cost, I want to generally assume cost, but see, an information popped up as says, oh, the description of this cost is based on standard cost. So whatever the standard cost is for that particular data or for that particular region, then they know it's based on standard cost. You understand? For example, let's say you are, you are looking at some ratings you know, maybe you are looking at Naira value against dollar. You know, there's what we call uh, parallel parallel market price. Then, then there is the normal price for dollar. So, for example, you can say, okay, your dollar rate is 415 or 515. Why the parallel one, usually called black market rate, is 550 or 600. You understand the idea, but in your calculation, you can now put it in your description. You know, you can't put it in there. Oh, uh, cost is in dollar. Yes, but that dollar is, you know, you can't put it here. You can't put it where you have cost. So it will be in your in your description. You can now say, oh, the cost we have used or the rate of dollar we have used is the one for parallel market. Do you understand? That is black market rate or the normal standard cost or that standard rate. That's just what what that one is, is, is trying to say. So also when we look at sales and other date fields, and then notice that it reviews an hierarchy. Carry.
Okay, so when we look at our sales order field, then then notice that it reviews a date hierarchy, sales order fields. So let's look at our sales. This is our sales. These are the order dates. Order dates. Yes. So inside our order dates, you can see that there's a date hierarchy there. There's a date hierarchy there. So these are some of the things that we also need to take advantage. So what is, what is our day, date hierarchy? Our date hierarchy is talking about. So let me show you what the data hierarchy is now. So hierarchy means that, see, you can see, the year is big. I mean, year means 365, 65 days. Inside the year, you have four quarters. Inside quarters, you can have three months, make, make up one quarter. Then inside your month, you can have, let's say, days or week. Yes, it's an hierarchy. So which means five days, I say 30 days make one month. That's an hierarchy because it's bigger than a day. So 30 days, one month is bigger than a day. Then you can say, oh, a quarter. A quarter is three months. Then you can say a year, of course. A year is so much. You understand that? How, so that's what they mean by hierarchy. So anywhere you are seeing hierarchy, that's, for example, if I go back to your region, you go back to your region, your region too has hierarchy. Look at the hierarchy. So, here you have a group, then that, those group belongs to a country, then your country then belongs to a region. For example, if you say the Yoruba group or the Arusa group, they belong to a country which is bigger for Nigeria. Then you say a region, which which region does, does Nigeria belongs to? West African region or Shara region, or depends. You understand what, what they mean by hierarchy? Okay, um, let look at target. So for inside our target, there's a target month field delivers a similar hierarchy. So let's go to the target too. Let's go to target. So look at look at our target. So there's a there's, do we have an hierarchy here? I don't think so. We have an hierarchy. Here. Okay. Setting. I want to off the automatic dates. Okay, so I'm trying to uh, turn off the automatic dates. Let's go to color file group. Select data load. Okay, we have data load. And the time intelligence section and check that one. Okay, so this is this is what I wanted to do. Okay, so now I went to I went to uncheck auto auto to be automatically updating the date. So if I go back to I think sales where we have the time. Okay, we still have we still have our okay other dates. We still have our hierarchy. Okay, if I so for all that date, there's no more hierarchy on that date. Okay. Choose quantities. Let me check. Since there's no more hierarchy here. 
Okay. So now the next thing for us as a data analyst is what we call measure. In fact, this is the most important aspect of the training. Okay. So we are going to be creating, you know, some two quick measures. So what is what is your measure? You know, so your measures are calculated columns. So what do I mean by calculated columns? If you if you go to your data, you have different columns. You understand? Depending on the data you are using. Okay. So let's go to sales. So look at sales. You have different columns. So you have quantity. So when you know because this one is quantity, because this one is one, does not mean that we have one or two. It's possible we have okay. I think it's one. This one. So three. You understand? So quantity of this three. Then unit price. Then sales. Then costs. So now, when you look at the sales and the cost or the unit price, you can look at. You can they can you can do a mathematical calculation to say, okay, this is my cost. Okay. So, so if it cost me sixteen dollars, okay, and then the unit price is five dollars and then i later sold for maybe sixteen dollars whatever it is you can ask yourself what is my production cost you can ask yourself what's my production cost so your production cost becomes oh, how much did it cost you to produce so, 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 so large amount of something so you can now say oh my production cost is my cost times my unit price. You understand what I'm trying to say? So I'm just saying for an example. So how much is my production cost? So if it costs me to produce something like this, how much will it cost me to produce something big? So from your data, you can say, oh, my production cost will now equals, you know that kind of a thing. My production cost will now equals the total number of sales multiplied by the unit sold divided by the cost. You know that kind of formula. I'm just saying, I'm just giving that kind of a formula where you can say, oh, I think, I think we should have a white box. Should we have a white box? Advanced postcard. I think we should have a white box. Is it white box? Sorry. So do you understand the idea? So where you can now say, oh, where you can say, oh, the unit price, maybe your my total production cost will now be the let's say total amount of sales times the unit price divided by my cost. That, that will now give you for what, what you are looking for. So that thing that you are looking for, that total amount of production that you are looking for becomes your measured column. It becomes your measured column. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? For example, if you say production cost is your cost times your unit price, for example, now, you know this is your unit price. I just highlighted your unit price. Unit price means the amount you sold one, 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 one by one. And then, you now say cost, it costs me so 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 amount to produce. You understand? So, what is now the total cost of production? So, you now come to this place to create a new column to say, oh, you know, total cost of production is not here. So, you can now say, oh, I produce three multiplied by the unit price divided by the cost. So, your total, total, total amount of production, that total amount of production is called your measured column. You know, you, you understand? I don't know how much to explain that one, but we continue to work around this so that you can see. 
So in this tax, you are going to be creating two quick measures to calculate your profit and your profit margin. So now let me try to depend. How do you calculate your profit? Debra. Because I know that uh, you are a business woman. So tell us, how do you calculate your profit? I know, I know the chains of business you are into. They have to calculate profit, the um, cost price minus selling price. Cost price minus selling price. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I, uh, Madam Deborah is trying to teach us the tricks on how how she make money. So, so she said, "What do you say?" Again? Selling price minus cost price. The price is being sold minus the price for production. So that I get a profit. Sorry, selling price minus cost price. Selling price minus cost price. price. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so so if that gives your profit, so what gives you? So how do you calculate your head now? Because I know you are a C. <laughs> how do you calculate the, the total production of you know total production cost or the cost of production? You know. Cost of production. Is yes. Let's say you have decided to produce soap. Abi, so you produce a soap, but the soap you cut it into one thousand pieces. So now, for you are telling us that for you to make profit, you calculate your profit by 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 removing your selling price from your cost price. Your cost price from your selling price. Oh, you 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 get your profit from remove your cost price from your selling price. Okay. So now because you have produced a thousand bars of soup, how would you calculate the total cost of that product? In your head, you have to get an artist. If it's production, if it's soap, it definitely come from particular like general source where it's so where you mix everything you want to mix. So the Total cost of production is the amount for each of the individual uh, materials that was spent. And the amount for each material that was spent on making the soap. So we use it to calculate it. So if you calculate the total amount of production, is total amount of individual materials used for it. Then the total amount of, um, of profit. Okay. You see now, we have we have powerful CEO in the house. Okay. We told this one that she was saying now, me, I have to go and sign up. Let's start. Um, you are following the class, Debra. From you discover that we have cost price on that particular list. We have cost, then also have unit price. So we don't have anything like you, right? Yes. Are you here? Yes, sir. Like your profit margin. You how do you calculate your profit? actually told us that you do the, that. I mean, which is, so for example, let's say you want to calculate your profit margin and then you need what we call, what we call uh, your cost price now or your selling price. So you said you need your selling price, but on the data that, that was provided for you, there's no selling price there. Okay, don't forget it's your profit margin you want to calculate too. So, which means that first of all, you have to first of all look for your selling price, and then you now use your selling price and your cost price to generate your profit price, your profit, your profit margin. Did you get what I'm trying to say? Did you have that understanding? So, so which means that, for example, for example, you want to calculate your profit margin, which means you have to remove. You have to remove your selling, your your cost price, but you have price. You don't have your selling price. So if you want to calculate, yourself, okay, this is how much I sold, and then I know the cost price, and then you now say, okay, let me calculate my profit margin. So with that, when you calculate your profit margin, that column called profit margin, that column now is what we call measured column. So that activities you have done is what we call 
measure. Okay. So in Power BI, there's no way you can talk about Power BI and not talk about measure. You always talk about measure. You always talk about your measures column. You understand? Okay. So that's 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 to that. That's to that. So let's let's move on so that we can measure column. Now. Please, if you have a question, feel free to to, to it's a so quick measure. Not a minute. Right. So to create to create a quick measure, what do we do? You go to in the field pane, click, click the old state, then click on new quick measure. So now here if you need to create a quick measure now. This is our sales. Remember. So from your sales, click on your sales. Once you click on your sales, right click. Then you have new measure. You have new column. You have new quick measure. Can you see now? So you just click the new new quick measure because what we want to just what we want to do is to do a quick measure. It's just hello, the measure is hello, the form of application. Hello. Yes, sir. Please come again because the cursor is not showing where you are clicking. To calculate oh, it's the question, it's not. I can't see. Is it only? I can't see any cost okay. of. Okay. Okay. So now, this field, right? Look at your field, sir. You already see your field. You know, under your field, you have your production, you have your region, all those stuff. That all the data we have been cleaning, have been preparing. So now, from your sales, just click on your sales. You know, mm -hmm. I click on targets. This is what I, I have. Click on your sales. Or perhaps right click on it. So when you right click on it, you see a little pop up. New measure, new column, new quick measure, refresh data, edit query, manage this, this information from the model from there. But what we want to do is just to create a, a quick measure. Like I told you, what your measure is. Your measure is calculated. Your measure is your calculated terms. Or, you know, those, uh, you know, your measure is, your measure is not like a straightforward column. It, it must have calculation inside. You get, for example, if you are looking for the total of something and something, let's say sales plus cost. Now, let's say you want to do a calculation for sales and cost. You now have another column here. You create that measure. You create it as a measure. Do you understand? So let's say you want to look at your total unit cost. You now say, okay, what's the total cost? Now this is your cost. Remember, this is your cost, and this is your new unit. You now say, okay, multiply units plus cost together. Remember, your formula will now be total cost equals unit price times cost. That statement alone is your measure. Do you get the idea? That statement alone is your measure. So, so from your sales, you click now. Click on your new quick measure because that that is what. So new quick measure. Then you have you have. You can see that it's purely calculations. Can you see? It's purely calculations. Calculation. Do you want to do? So are we calculating average per category? Mr. Sorry, Mr. Dotto. Yes, sir. It's like the is is it hanging? All those things are you are not even all those things you are clicking, they are not showing. It's just what we are just seeing is the the yes. 
It's not showing. Expressing something like that. It is it is the network, sir. Yeah. It is the network. Even if I ask you to share your screen, if I say do this, do this, you discover that even while you are doing those things, mm. I I might not even see those steps. I'll be I'll be you know, sometimes it's network. So I apologize for that. Maybe others okay. are also they are not expressing the same thing, I don't know. I'm expressing yeah. the same thing on my, on my part. So. You are expressing the same thing? Yes, sir. Um, okay, so what can you see? It's just the screen before now. I'm seeing... It's just the screen. What, what was there before I started to do the calculation? Cost column looks highlighted from what I can see, and that's just it. Yeah, exactly. It's only because that is highlighted up there. Okay, you should be able to see a pop up. You should be able to see a pop up. So can you see it, the quick measure? No, nope. see the same thing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I, I, I think I, I know what is. Just, just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. I think I know what is happening. Okay, so now, now you might agree now. I will not have to. Can you see anything that says? That says what? Able to see it. It's inside the. I'm, I'm showing you all the VMs. Okay, so. The quick measure was the is from inside the mathematical group. So let's subtract them. So let's let's look for what's going on? Why is this going on? Hello, Mr. Kelvin. Hello, sir. Have you been able to sign in? Yeah, yes, sir. Into your Teams or your yes, laptop? Sir. Yes, sir. Have you been able to sign into your VM? I have been able to, sir. Are you inside your VM right now? Yes, I am. Can you share your screen? Maybe you can see it from your side. Okay. Let me see, because I'm actually inside your VM. Share your screen. I have. Oh, that's good. Can you bring up your coffee machine? I'm asking for password, is it? Ah, no. You're forgetting your password. Is it password now? Nigeria 2022.
So I'd like to request control. Can you click allow in case I need to take over your environment? Should I close and open it again? Hello, sir.
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Sorry, I have to go out of the gen. There was um, like, so what's happening to your power BI? Is okay. it not coming up? It's not coming up. Should I close and open again? I guess. Double click. This was the same. Am I? Or maybe that's why it's not allowing you. You understand? Okay, so can you try and open? Can you try and So it has opened now. So it was because I was inside your VM. So I opened yeah. it on inside your VM. Okay, so now go to your sales. So I hope everybody will be able to see it from there. Okay. 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 So go to click on cancel just cancel this one so right click on your sales you know that's where we are right click on your sales okay so can you see now new measure new column click on new quick measure so go to calculation you can see calculation so i want to be sure can you guys can you all see now the quick measures and all of that So, Mr. Kelvin, can you drag this blue something and drag it? Drag it. You know, you know how we do it. This blue. Oh, yeah, now drag it, drag it. You know what we do. You already know how we do this thing. Just drag it to that blue line. Don't tell me you don't know how we do it, so drag it. I don't know why you want me to drag. Oh. Sir Kelvin, please. Please, can you allow me? Please just look at it so you can see. Can you see the way this cursor has changed? Then you click it down and then you drag. Okay. So I don't know what you want. It. I don't understand. Can you see now? Can you, did you see what I did? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, in case of next time. Yeah. So now go to your calculations. So from your from your calculations drop down list, can you see mathematical operations group? Subtract. Just scroll down, scroll down. That's filter, that's time intelligence. That's two time. Can you see mathematical operations? Yes, sir. Click on subtract. Click on subtract. So now you want to perform the subtraction. You understand? Subtraction mm -hmm. calculations. So what do you do? In the field in of your quick measure window, expand the sales table. So, have you expanded the sales table? Good. Okay. So, drag that sales field 
into the base value box. This one. Can you see sales? Yes, drag it, click on it and drag it to base value. Good boy. Then drag the cost into the value to some. Drag the cost to value to subtract. He gets it now. So when Debra was telling this is how she calculated a profit margin, she was, uh, what was it called? Uh, sell, selling, selling price minus cost price, you know, so that kind of a thing. So mm -hmm. now that was just the simple subtraction she do, or what she normally do. In order to calculate how much money she's making as per big girl, where she be, you understand? So now th this is exactly, you know, instead of using your head to do it, probably I say, okay, I want to get the difference between what did you drop there at the time? The total sums of sales and the total sums of cost. Do you understand? But if you need some, I see that what is giving you is some. Yes, sir. So it means that it will total everything together for you. Removing it line by line. You know your okay. you know your cost is on the line. Yes, sir. He has a, your cost has a rule, your sales has a rule. Yeah. So it's supposed to be line up on line like that. But he's telling you that some of everything at once. So yes, just sir. come down and let me see what is there first. See what's... Click here, click here, follow that around, click here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I see my arrow? I can see your arrow. Oh, no, that's not where my arrow is. That one is hanging. Okay. <laughs> Come to some sales, sums of sales. Yeah. Yeah, is it where I am? Click on that more option. Yes. That more option, yes. That more option, yes. So now, click on that arrow now. That arrow is telling you more. So those are, you can see that these are statistics, you know, calculations that you can do. So yes, but, yes, click outside and go and click OK. So I'm trying to make a request. Click allow. Okay, so what can you see what you know what you notice? So can you see can you from your I see sales minus cost? Can you see it? Yes, sir. It's here. See the design that look like calculator. Can you see the design after your sales? You have quantity, you have sales, then sales minus cost. That was what you that was what you calculated now. You design a sales, sales minus cost. Look at the font. The font looks like a calculator. So that's why it's called. Hello, sir. The report. Your line is breaking, sir. Sales minus cost equals to sum of those versus sales cost. Mm -hmm. 
Can you? I can't hear you, Sam. Kind of. God. So press control. Click on control. Are you showing me? I don't know why it is showing. And that row beside the gift card. Why is this last one? Two requests. Okay, no wonder. Okay, so no problem. So can you click on your click on what sir? You can see your X and your marking on I didn't hear what you said. The line is breaking. What do you want to click on? Just click on the mark. The one that says This one. Yes, yes, yes. Now click on it, bro. He's not responding. That should be your network. Are you click on save? Just click on save and see your work because really, That's save. This for this one is not Click outside. Click outside. Maybe on the whiteboard or something. Very good. Now. Click on this area where you have your category. Category, where do I have category? Is it on the fields? Bro, you know now this where you have categories and steals on your total, which is 80 million or something. So now you have activated that uh, on sales minus cost. Go and check it. Check your sales minus cost so that it will add it to that value. Okay, check the sales minus. Click now, please. Okay, please click allow.
Es lo que en fin. Can you click allow, please? Hello, Kelvin. Yes, sir. Um, Hello, Kelvin. Okay, no problem. Yes, but you are sharing your screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay, click allow. Can you see allow there at your screen? That should be your network. Just click allow. When you click allow, just click save. That's very important. Even if we cannot, you cannot continue. I can continue from here. Always click save when you perform any action. Always click save and then click allow. No, keep saving. Just, we can't uh, afford to miss any any steps. And then click allow. Most of them seem to be responding again. I don't know. This should be your this should be your network anyway. Okay, if you say saved, probably you should just close the Power BI. Let me continue from here. Close the power BI. I close close. Like close close. Have you close close? I won't close. I've decided to work magic. <laughs> you don't have the time for it's your magic. Working. You don't have time for your magic. Just close close. So that I'll continue from here. <laughs> If you don't close it, I won't be able to work on your Power BI here because I'm inside your machine. Can I click on it? It's asking me on the recovery. Yes, I want to view this file later. Should I click on that part or no? Remove the files. Yeah, you can click on yes. It's not a problem. How come this one is now uh, responding? Okay, I've closed it. What is responding? Uh, it's good that you have closed it. You know, there's no time. We need to. Yes, have you closed it? I've closed it, sir. Okay, good. Okay, so let me just share my screen because because of the time, there's no time and uh, okay now. So you should be able to see my screen now. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do. So let me check if you have your calculated column now from your sales. If you close it, so you have it. So sales minus sales minus cost. Okay. So this is what I was saying now. Yeah. So activate yeah. this by clicking this. Once you click on this, activate it. Let me drag the
Okay, so let me put this in the middle. Let me see how I can address. How do I, I need to increase the font size, so that so I can see visuals, value. Okay, this is how you increase the size. Can you see? I'm trying to increase it. So I have to, I have to believe everybody you see. So everybody seeing the value, but the title is small, category and sales. So I'll come to this place. This is value. I think this is column EDA. So let's see, it's going to increase. Yeah, it's crazy. The column EDA, category sales. Let me bold it. It's beautiful. You understand? So now, this is activated when you click on this it, it activates it so i'm now saying check this so now i've performed some activities so i was always safe do you understand i was always safe i think i've gone to save now or you can come to files and click on save so it will save save your work and then if i check this now you should be able to add it so look at it it has added it sales minus cost. Can you see sales minus cost? So now you can look for a smaller name for this your sales minus cost. So let me let me save the work. No, 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 no. Let me save the work. So you can look for a, 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 a smaller name. Sales minus cost, let's say profit margin. You understand? You know, you can rename. See, this is what I did. There's a tiny three arrows by the side here that says more, more options. So you click on it, it says rename. You can rename. So do you notice that the moment I says rename, it can, it's it opened this. This this place yeah, is the dashboard, is the DAX, DAX, your data analytics expression. Look at it. It says sales minus cost. That's the title. Then that gives you the formula, that expression as a formula. You get this place, this way, this place that I highlighted. You understand? So now I can change this from sales minus cost, let's say marginal profit. Marginal and I press enter. So, what do you need know to marginal profit? These are marginal profit. To show. Okay, I think he's the best one. Sorry about that. It's a network. That's his looks terrible. It's making it seem a little terrible. Okay. Uh, So from there, we press OK. Now, what does it measure? Let's create the calculation formula for you. So they are easy, to, they are easy and very fast to create for a simple to a common calculations. So of course, we still have more time to create. So in our sales table now, we now have sales minus cost, like I showed you. So measures are, are done with calculators. Like I said, when you see a calculator, like you open any 
PowerPoint is on. I have seen it. So you can see that it's in the calculated color. Okay, so you can name it. I just have to rename. So you say you name, rename. You renamed, I renamed the other time to name it to marginal. It's not complicated. I don't know. So we name, rename to marginal profit. So I'll just remove the marginal put and leave profit. You understand? Yeah, we just rename it to profit. You understand? So you rename it to profit. You rename it to profit. Oh, are you back into your VM? Yes. I don't know, I'm not sure. Because it's way he's angry, I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, no problem. So now we just rename that sales to minus. That minus plus whatever, whatever thing. That calculated column we did. We rename it to profit. So we just rename to profit. You see that it automatically changes back to profit. Then what yeah, one of that is done. Uh, okay, so one that is done, I saved, like I said. Sorry. So once I saved, so whether you like it or not, this is your first dashboard. So you're already creating your dashboard. So you can now look at this, look at category. So there's a category called bikes. So remember the name of our data from our SQL Server Adventure Works. That's the name of the company that all of us are running on this particular trade project. So Adventure Works, the sales bikes, you know, the sales other components, the sales clothing the sales accessories. So when you now look at the total sales for the particular period that we are looking at, look at it, they made 36 million. I mean, it's more. Then for, for components, 11 million. And then they have a profit of one million. So for clothes, clothing, they sold 1.7 million and they have a profit of 200,000. <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous. Accessory have a million and they have, that's about 20% of, of, so you know, you can calculate the percentage of this profit. You can calculate the, yes, you can calculate the price of this profit. You understand in relation to the sales. So, how do we do that? Well, I'll show you so that you can see that. Oh, because now looking at the accessory, if you look at the accessory, the accessory is 570, and then this one is 190, that's almost 100,000. This one is so the percentage is almost around 20 percent, you know, which is very huge, right. 20% profit, wow, that's huge, you know, that's huge. Compared to bikes, look at bikes, how can you make 66, say something, 66 million, and then you are making a profit that is less than 1 million. That's a uh, ridiculous profit, that's about 0. Point something percent. <laughs> that's a terrible profit, you know, I, well, I don't know, but I mean, when we get to the bridge, we, we surely cross it, okay, so, so from there, so we've been able to change that. So in the sales, we can add this a second quick measure. So we use division. Remember the other time we use subtraction, division. You know, uh, use division. Use mathematical operation. Division as mathematical operation. You said the numerator as sales profit. Then we set the denominator as sales 
sales field. Then we rename it. Not yet. I'm not moving across yet. You understand? So what this is asking us to do now is, so let's go back to our sales table. So we are inside our sales table. Now I'm moving. Oh, I hope you can see it. So inside our sales table. Just be looking. Don't worry. You be doing it now. So from this side, we are going to be using mathematical operations, division. So from your sales table, click on your sales. This one too is exactly. This one is hanging. So, so click on your sales. So from your sales, you right click. When you right click, you go to new quick. Remember, the mathematical operation you want to use is division. Okay. So we are dividing something by something. So from there, go to select calculation, mathematical operation. As what kind of operation? So um, as well, operation is division. You click on division. So you have numerators. Can we see? I hope we see them all. Who are numerators. So do you look very new? What is this? This is this is Zanki. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Adoto. Yes, Hello, sir. Mr. Sorry, the screen I can is hear you, sir. like the screen is like it hung for a long time. Like the, what you did the other time, so we couldn't even follow. <laughs> I don't know what's what's happening. We couldn't follow many yeah, of I those think it's, it's, the net. it's the network. And, so what we are, we are doing a recording, so you surely guess it clearly on the record. We really apologize on behalf of Nigerian network telecommunications. <laughs> you understand? If I myself, self, I'm having difficulty thinking yeah. of some certain things. And this is a key area. All this calculation, how to create the column. Uh, measure value mm -hmm. is a key area that ordinary you can only hear the audio. The visual is the most important thing. Where to click, how to input the yeah. measure, what all those are. I don't know how. Uh, we'll yes. Do. So, like I said, like I said, we are making a recording and then we we'll put it on our link. You guys can always go back. Hey, hey, so, if, so, so. Uh, I believe the hello. I believe the recording is, we yes, still, still not show it because it's what we are seeing here that the recording will show. And we are not, it's not. No, 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 no. no the recording we always show it. Okay. Okay. The recording we always show it. <laughs> the recording is recording my screen. It is whatever it is on my screen. Now it will show. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. The recording records my screen. I use screen recorder. So it records. Do you get? So whatever I am seeing is capturing what I'm seeing. So that is why that if you are the one presenting. Okay. Okay. To see to catch. Okay. So the network is back on my own side now. The network is back. So what we need to do is to drop numerators and denominator. So uh, our numerator is our profit, while our numerator is sales. So I will now drag our profit the numerator. I'll drag up the
And then I will now put the sales. The, the sound quality is bad. Take care of that. Then put the sales in our denominator. Okay, so I'll press OK. So here is working on our. Okay. So from here now, we can rename the measure as profit margin. So this is here. This is here now we have what we call profit margin. Right on go. So now we, we have what we call profit divided by sales. Okay, profit divided by sales. So we will rename it as profit margin. And our profit margin. Profit margin, I press enter. Okay, so I can also, this is highlighted, this area is highlighted, so which means I can add it to to our dashboard automatically we have what we call a profit margin then we drag by the side uh, low and build we are seeing zeros i don't know why <laughs> why we are seeing zeros there okay maybe it's not something that okay Name as profit margin. So, okay, ensure the profit margin measure is selected. And then on the measure to context, we prepare select the format of percentage. The two decimal places. Okay, so we, we, we have renamed it to profit margin. The home tab sales. Then we'll now select to percentage and then leave this in two. okay that is that is it okay so if i click this again okay it's already so it's in currency that is why that's why we're having zero but it should be in percentage so we change this to percentage okay and then increase this to two So two. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this was the percentage I was telling you about the other time. Okay, this are the percentage. So for bikes, you can see that the profit margin was is in negative. I mean, look at it. They didn't even make one percent of what they claimed that they sold. How can you make the sales of sixty-six million dollars and you didn't even make? <laughs> So, if our CEO, we are an analyst now, and uh, they presented, they presented this dashboard to you for your week. Hi, Amisha. I can hear you, Mr. Kevin. So, Mr. Kevin, I want to ask you. I can't hear you. Okay. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying, look at our dashboard. We are trying to create. Okay. Look at the categories of of. You are the CEO of this company. No, you are the MD. Our CEO okay. is Madam Debra, and then you you have got to present this to the CEO, and then and the CEO is asking you, what's your take on this? What do you think about this? This look at the profit margin, look at the profit, look at the sales. And you want to make a decision. So what do you think? What do you think? Well, I think that um, zero point fifty eight percent profit margin is quite low. That's putting everything together. It's quite low. 
And I think the part where we're experiencing the decreases from the bikes, so maybe we can work on that, uh, why the sales are low and how we can improve it. So if you need to make a drastic decision, what sort of decision do you think your company should go into? I would think we should stop producing bikes. That's it. <laughs> there's no there's no magic to it. Yeah, you are running negative. Look at it now. Yeah. Do you know what it means to spend 60 million and not even make one million profit? I Bro. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I mean, you've got to look at your data. So now if you Does now you have to do. Sorry? Is the CEO in agreement? Is the what? CEO, is she in agreement? Uh, you are the MD now. You discuss. Ask the CEO yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> my only is to my only is to point out what is happening. Your complaint to you. So you are your CEO. You have to make decisions. So you people should consult yourself and say, okay, after two minutes of meeting, you know, we've agreed that if our company can, if our company data can look like this, this and so 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 so. Do you understand? And the CEO is on is also online to so ask her. Her name is Debra. Hi Debra, are you in agreement? Sorry, I got disconnected. So Kevin, can you please explain to her? Explain to your so boss. So Mr. Tedor also asked me what was wrong with the data from the dashboard and what we can do. What was the fault and what we can do to improve it? And then I said that we are experiencing low sales, a uh, low profit margin. And one of the or the major reasons why the profit margin is low is because of the sales from the bikes. I mean, the cost of production and then the cost of sales, they are not really enough profit. So he asked what, what we are going to do as a company. And then I said, stop the production of bikes. And then I asked yeah. the CEO, you are the CEO, if you are in agreement with the decision. I'm in agreement. I will increase your salary for that suggestion. <laughs> 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 hey, this is your CEO now. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> now that uh, you went yourself a, a race, <laughs> Mr. Kelvin, now that you have ran yourself a race, now that you have now that you have uh, earned yourself a race. Now let me ask you and your CEO again. Now, whether you like it or not, you already have your 66 million somewhere. So now you want to stop the production or whatever it is with bikes. So what do you think you guys should should do next? So consult with your CEO too, and then tell us one or two things. You know what that means? So let's say last year, you put 66 million into something because if you can make a sales of something, 66 million, it means that you have that 66 million in your, in your hand. So by the time you sold it, you had 66 million plus your nine, 990, Abby. Yes, sir. That's, it was when you removed the profit. That you know, so, ah, your profit is just less than one million. So that means by the time you sold, plus the sales, plus the profit, it is 67 million, right? Yes, sir. If you look at it, it's roughly 67 million. So that means if you say you are your CEO, you are stopping the profit of bike. Now, what do you think? You are your CEO again. What do you think? Now you have 66 million at hand. Okay. So what happened to the money? You need to follow in banks. So, come again, sir. so now you have 66 million or 67 million at times now, plus the sales you had, plus your profit. Okay. Now, so now you, you have decided that you are going to stop production of bikes, right? So mm -hmm. now, what are you going to be doing with your 67 million? Okay, so I'm looking at accessories now, giving me 34% profit margin. It's to do my accessories. And increase the profit margin. Are you the CEO? Have you agreed with your CEO? We understand each other. Hello? Uh, we cannot hear you, Debra. Can you, are you online? Okay, sorry. I said he said what was in my mind, like exactly. We'll just look for the products with more profit and then invest that money on it, which means that we'll get more profit from the six million, unlike what happens in the bike. So we're in line, like we understand ourselves. I'm my director. Okay, wait. I will now to how to boss you guys. 
Now, have you guys considered the region where your bikes have been sold? Maybe you are selling your bikes to Africans that doesn't like riding bikes, that they like to work out. How about that? <laughs> no, sincerely, have you considered, you know, the white Europeans like to use bikes, their children like to use bikes. But how many Nigerians have you seen riding bikes? Mm -hmm. There are many ways to solve the problem, you know. Each country should pick the one that is most appropriate for them, based on see, several reasons. So. See, we are doing data analytics. So you are going to, that is, this is where your work starts. You understand? You don't just sometimes make decisions because hey, this is what your data is telling you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you considered the region? You know, remember if you look at your data here, this data has region. Have you considered region or should we add region to it? You know, let's say, let's add countries to it. Let's see if, if you can consider. So, sorry to add, sorry to add Australia. countries to it. Australia is in Europe. Australia is not in Europe. Okay, true, true. What do I say? I mean, there's France, there's Germany, there's UK. So look at it. Look at look at your data. Okay, so we have access. So, I'm just saying, do you understand? I understand you, sir. Do, do you get? So, I'm not saying that your decision and your, with you and your CEO is not correct, but I'm saying that what if you now discover that, oh, there's a profit margin around the particular region that is very, very high. You might not have to decide to scrap all of those stuff, right? Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, so, let me try and save what we've done so far. Is it, isn't it amazing? It's interesting. It's interesting. So you are getting so now you are already getting used to how how it is now. So now to test to test the two measures, first select the table visuals on the report page, and then in the feed page check the two measure your profit and your profit margin. Okay, so we already have it. Your bike, your profit. You know, we already have it like I've shown to you, and um, you can now see the rollers. So, finishing up in this tax, you have to. This is what you have done. So, congratulations, you have been able to do something good. So, we have come to the end of today's class. So, uh, let me put this number 577. So, Mr. Kelvin, we are going to be starting from 577. We're starting from okay. Okay. I will type it to you. Five seven okay. seven. Okay. So now that's that's a very beautiful thing. Okay, let me type it to Kelvin. So we'll be starting from five seven seven uh, next class. Okay. So as you can see now, this is, is really helping us. So you've been able to create, you've been able to create calculated columns, you've been able to do a whole lot. So next one now, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing modeling, looking at one to many relationship, many to many relationship. I'm going to be doing a whole lot, a whole lot, and a whole lot. Okay. A whole lot and a whole lot and a whole lot. All right. So thank you so much for today's class. Um, I don't know if the I don't know if the administrator is around. If she's still online, maybe she have one or two things to say. I don't know if the admin has one or two things. So Mr. Fusher, I hope you've been able to. So like I said, you you can. Class is online.